If you didn't see the previous entire playthrough of Need for Speed Underground, please click in the playlist down below or there will be a tag in the top right of this video. We played through the entirety of Need for Speed Underground with the Dodge Neon last time, the P.O. Mobile, but today's video is asking the question, what is the worst starting vehicle in the game? Now we have some great options here. We have the Honda Civic, we have the Golf GTI, which is a yellow mess of mustard. The Peugeot 206 looks even worse. It's like an egg mobile. The Mazda Miata MX-5, probably one of the best starter cars in my opinion, if I could say so myself, and most people tell me that. And then the Dodge Neon, obviously, which we've already played through. In today's video, we are going to pick what you guys thought was the worst starting vehicle. I did a poll on the channel and the results were shocking. Within the first hour, the Golf GTI apparently is the worst vehicle in Need for Speed Underground. And I thought what would be a better successor to the Dodge Neon than the actual worst vehicle voted by you guys. We're going to do everything on hard difficulty. We are on the PlayStation 2 version. If you guys didn't know, last time we did the playthrough, it was on the GameCube version. And I thought that was difficult. Let's see how the PlayStation 2 version matches up with the GameCube version. I do have to say a PlayStation controller does feel more natural in my hands than a GameCube controller. Playing this game with the GameCube and having like the pointed, you know, you, on a on a PlayStation controller, the analog stick on the left side is like a full circle, right? On the GameCube controller, there is random like points in which you're trying to angle. It, it's not smooth. It's completely like an octagon or pentagon or whatever the hell six points is on a rectangle or a square. I haven't been in school in a few years, but <laughs> those controllers stink. We finished the first race in first place. Golf doesn't seem too bad so far. Wart, Nesto, and Jose. It's been a while since we've seen these names. I am so excited to be back on this game, and I hope you guys are too. Another thing is, halfway through the last playthrough with the Dodge Neon, I decided to use the manual instead of automatic transmission, and that helps so much to make this game easier. I'm thinking about doing an entire playthrough with the worst vehicle on automatic transmission, or if you guys would like to see it, I'll create a separate save file for when we get to the Supra, and I want to do an entire playthrough from event 61 through the end with the Supra on automatic transmission. I think that would be a lot of fun because the automatic transmission is not forgiving in this game whatsoever. The manual helps you so much to get these races easily done. This is where everything goes downhill. Drag events are my least favorite in the game, especially ones with traffic and we've not seen a traffic event yet. I don't see any traffic here, so I'm kind of excited. Can we get a perfect shift? We do. Oh, sorry, short shift, <laughs> I forgot. Come on, it's much higher than this. There. Come on, baby, there's no NOS either. We need a perfect race here. The Neon is so fast. I wish I was a Neon now. Good shift, no. Oh God. Oh God, we are so screwed. I need a perfect shift and everything. No way these guys are stock. Third place, not looking good. I gotta show off for the twins. Perfect shift. Perfect shift, yes. This is where we're at. The Neon is trying to catch us though. It's scary. It's really scary right now. Why is the Neon so fast? Come on. Come on, little golf. You can beat that green haired bastard. Looks like puke all over his car and there's a little blood on the side. Come on, there's no way we're losing this. I am pushing the red button through my finger into the bone and I'm still getting past. Oh my God. We're gonna get stuck on this event, aren't we? No way. No absolute way we lose this again. The start of the century here, please. I'm gonna go into his lane. All right, we're slowing him down. Slowing him down. This is what we need to do. Get in front of them. Block their lane. They can't go faster than us. Get out of here. Yes, they have to break. Okay, am I cheating? No. I'm just playing the game right. The Neon is trying to catch us, but we're doing well here. Yeah, I think we got it now. I just need to block their lanes. Is that cheap to do? I feel like that was kind of a cheap move, but I don't care. We got the win. I think that's the only way we actually beat this race. Clutch, Carl, and Daryl were cheating. So I need to cheat a little bit too. Wait, twins. I have to take out my twin. You cannot be in this world. This is the first traffic race. Oh my God. They actually tried taking me out. Not the first place guy. It's insane, it's back. Need for Speed Underground's RNG and putting cars in my way. What car is in front of me? Is that the Peugeot? It is so fast, I can't catch it. Come here, buddy. The fifth gear on the Golf is terrible, by the way. Just so everyone knows. If they say the Civic's bad, the Golf is equally as bad. No way this Peugeot is this fast. Without upgrades, this is gonna be impossible. Oh my God, he is just flying through the air going sideways. He's still in front of me. <laughs> 
Fourth gear is where it's at. I cannot go into fifth. If I go into fifth, I just lose all my speed. Lap knockout has been completed. I'm usually not very good at those either. Drag races and lap knockouts are my least favorite. Or Pris and Rosie, goodbye. Rosie's trying to be me. Boob tit on top. Thank you very much. The first tournament of Need for Speed Underground with the Golf. We've got two Miatas and what is that on the end? Is that is that three Miatas? Oh God, we are so boned. I can't believe it. They put us up against three Miatas, which are the best starter cars in the game. Oh, there's traffic as well. This may be an event we get stuck on. I'm not looking forward to 85, 95, and 101 in this series. Also, I just saw the Miata jump. Rubber band is real again. First race is done, relatively easy. Why are the Miatas trying to take me out now? No. Please do not pit maneuver me. I gotta watch out for this fancy one that's all decked out in vinyls. He's the really scary Miata. Oh God, what is this? He just came out of nowhere. Look how fast this guy's going. Oh no, I hit a van it completely stopped me. Come on, come on. No, no, no. Come on, come on Miata, hit me baby. Fudge, don't get last place. This golf is so slow on accelerating. Oh, the tournament has just been finessed. Damn it. Knew something would happen. He couldn't go this smoothly. 12 points for three of us. I gotta beat these guys in the last race. Two lap races all around for this tournament and they're taking each other out. I like it. No, not a white van. I saw him. Oh God, we hit the corner. Come on, golf, accelerate, please. You are so slow. I'm getting past like I'm regular traffic. We have got to catch the guy in first and he is pulling away so fast. I think he hit something, all the smoke. No, that is the rubber band, I remember. Anytime you see smoke, it's not a good thing. Shortcut here. This'll definitely cut down the lead, yes. Oh no, golf, come on. Get it together, composure, composure. McDonald's, I want a double cheeseburger. Composure, okay, I see two cars here. I'm going right side lane. Shouldn't be anything here. Let's keep it together. Amazing, one left turn is all that's left. No vehicles, okay. One blue car, perfect. Slam our way into that truck almost. I thought the truck was gonna screw us. First place, baby. Level one engine exhaust upgrades, drivetrain, tire packages. It's time to upgrade the Golf. Okay, everything is upgraded now. The Golf is now a top speed demon. The acceleration on this thing, look at it, it's barely at the next C. <laughs> oh my god. Handling's good. Top speed's decent. Acceleration is just horrid. Why in the hell can you put a spoiler on the Golf? I love it. It looks so good. <laughs> it's great. Wow, upgrading this car makes it look so much worse than stock. I cannot wait to see what the final product is for this vehicle. Mustard car is activated. I think I'm in love with this decal. It's magnificent. Don't you guys agree? The most badass cutscene in the entire game is TJ's, where I can't see anything. He looks like a murderer just getting caught by the police. TJ's unique rewards matter tremendously, and I know acceleration is so crucial to making this vehicle better. So we're going with the engine exhaust package, which has the most increase for acceleration on this vehicle. It'll be crucial towards Endgame. The magazine covers look so much better in PlayStation 2 than in GameCube. Congrats, Golf. We have made the Mustard Option Auto Car of the Year special speciale tuning. So we have one Golf that's yellow, two Golf, and three Golfs that are yellow behind me. Here is where the trauma begins. The Golf is crazy good at drag. I think the first drag event is where this car really didn't shine, but with upgrades and the engine upgrade as well from TJ, it's so fast. Race number two is going well. Got two perfect shifts. Three. Oh, I accidentally shift on accident. We're gonna get fourth gear done. Nobody's gonna catch us, okay? No vehicles are gonna get in our way. Everything's gonna go smooth this entire playthrough. I can feel it. Can we jump over the train though? Oh, we beat it. That's how fast we are. The third and final race. As long as we don't come in last, I'm pretty sure we win. Actually, I think we win regardless of what position we come in. I know. I know what taxi. You tried. And this truck. You will not get me today. I am so aware. Wow, there's so many cars that are turning into the intersections here. Tournament's done, ECU turbo brakes have been unlocked. The Christmas tree Civic is back. Also, I'm racing all Civics, what the hell? Oh my God, I hit a tree. And I got hit from the back in the same clip. Is this where it begins? Oh no, the Civic's catching us. Who is this? Scott, no, not Scott Foster, he's coming back. He wants his gambling debts paid. No, not the SUV. Holy crap, this- No, we're going backwards now. The AI's trying. They're putting themselves in perfect position to get back in the race. Wait, what is this rubber band? Did you just see that on the map? No, look at how fast he is. 
Al Roker's cheating. He called in the Turbo Boosters. No, not the taxi. God damn it. All of a sudden, Al Roker used all of his cheating juices in one fellow swoop. It did not matter. Boob Tito has won it. Drop the clutch. Oh my god, enough with the drag races. I don't remember this many. Okay, ZX3, the Peugeot, and the dirty green machine Neon is here. Oh no, this is the worst one. So far, so good. So far, so good, but the traffic is dense in this race. All I need is to stay in first. This car and drag events at the beginning of the game is so fast. Wow. It wasn't even a challenge at this time. There's always a copycat. Every single time, Rosie just wants to be like me. She thinks she's the real mustard car. I'm gonna show her what a real mustard car does to another mustard car. Get over here, Rosie. This is mustard on mustard crime. She's trying to take me out, oh my god. My least favorite turn in the entire game is this uphill canyon. And Rosie is going to try and push me out of the way. I can't even go up the shortcut. Not the white van. Oh, we slid across him. I thought we were going head-on collision. One lap race. Head-on collision and we do a 360. Come on, save it. Save it, Mustard Mobile. Okay, we're somehow still in first. They were so far behind us, but the Lancer is closing in. Rosie right behind us. We have solidified first place. Nothing could stop us. Mustard Mobile is so good. It's so good. This is where we're going to leave off for today's video. I would do it much longer, but I have some things planned for this afternoon. We will be back with Need for Speed Underground shortly this week. You guys be prepared for the full golf playthrough in this month, okay? This is the month of the Mustard Mobile. Tito Bobby Flash is back. Thank you all for watching today's video. Have a great day. Have a great week. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.